When I'm feeling down, you make me happy. When I hear the sound of your voice, I get butterflies. Hello, guys, and good evening. Welcome to my everyday nighttime routine. Now, where I do love my mornings and I do love seizing the day and getting the most out of it, at the core of my heart and soul, I am a night owl. Now, I know being a night owl isn't a practical thing, especially with society making life more according to the early birds. So here's everything that I'm doing to set up the next morning for success by having a chill yet pretty productive night before. Not all of my nights look the same depending on how long I have to stay at school for, but most of the nights look like the following. After school, I get into my office and I work because not only am I a busy dental student in my final year at school, I'm also an amateur YouTuber on the side. And if I don't have to study, which I have to do most of the days, I actually have some work to do, which is basically just editing, but I call it work. Most days though, truth be told, I technically have to do both and this is when you would find me excelling at being a multitasker, taking a generous use and advantage of a split screen function and multiple technical devices because no, the obligatory friends episode running in the back of my phone cannot be missed. For today's video though, I was lucky enough to only having to edit, so this is how my evening began. Once I'm done, it's time to get ready for the gym. Recently, I started going to the gym at night, but I haven't really found my groove yet when it comes to that because the gym's just so packed and crowded. I don't know, I think I'll be going back to my morning workouts on a nighttime unwind yoga soon, but for now, this is what my evenings look like. Comfort and a cute outfit are key when it comes to my gym fits, and yes, these two things can go hand in hand with one another. The more I like how I look in the mirror the more motivation i can gather and i don't know how i could phrase this in any other way that would sound less superficial and shallow but the reason behind goes much deeper it's not about looking at yourself the entire time but it's more about feeling confident and good about yourself my friend nostalgia i found you when i heard the sweet sound of the ones who i once knew so well in a voice memo from years ago We were laughing about some nonsense Oh how I miss those friends Circumstances made it So they'll never see their faces Except for on the internet Where I'll never really know What's going on But I miss smile I mean I guess I could check in What's in Okay, no wait, before we move on with the video, a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Bjorn Borg. Now, if that's ringing a bell and you're like, why have I heard of the name Bjorn Borg before? That's probably because Bjorn Borg was a very, very successful tennis player back in the day. And the brand, Bjorn Borg, is producing one of the most comfortable lifestyle and active wear clothing that I've ever tried on, which is why I'm so excited to be working with them on today's video. I am currently dressed in all Bjorn Borg, and let me tell you that it feels like second skin. The fits are cozy, they're comfy, and especially at night, I want to be super comfortable. Whether I'm at the gym, I'm chilling at home, I'm working, comfort is key. The centerpieces of the Xmas collection are the colors Outer Space and Espresso. Outer Space, worn by yours truly at the moment. Now if you're thinking Xmas collection, Xmas shopping, you're actually thinking right. The launch of the new Christmas collection is actually the perfect opportunity for you to go check out Beyond Borg and find gifts for your loved ones, friends, family, colleagues, anyone. You will definitely not do wrong by gifting them pieces from this collection. And by using my code ANA20, you can actually make sure to save 20% off your order. To make sure that all of your items are coming in before Christmas, make sure 
to place your orders before December 18th. I love all Bjorn Borg pieces that I have, whether it's shoes, bags. I'm actually using their tote bag at school. I'm using their gym bag at the gym. Everything is perfect. And those are actually great gift ideas that I can personally recommend to everyone. And no matter what kind of sport you do, you will find something at Bjorn Borg, whether you go to the gym, you play tennis, you just like to chill at home. Bjorn Borg has so many great fits, and those are just a few of my favorites, like this one. Or this one. Or this one. Yep, approved. So, if you're still on the lookout for the perfect Christmas gift for anyone who loves comfort, everyone, then definitely make sure to check out Bjorn Borg via the link in the description down below and use my code ANNA20 to save 20% off of your order. Thank you so much to Bjorn Borg for sponsoring today's video. She loves comfort, okay? She has taste. Link and code will be found in the description box down below, so make sure to check everything out and happy shopping. Once I'm back home, I always try to manage my time as efficiently as possible, so I prep everything for dinner right after getting home, and then I change into something comfy and cozy, especially now that it's winter and it's freezing outside. And then it's time for dinner because I'm usually starving after my workouts, and tonight I made these soft shell chicken tacos in the air fryer, which are so easy and simple, which is how I like my dinner most of the time. And then I just sit down and unwind and not do anything. As you've probably seen earlier, I also put my phone into flight mode whilst at the gym. Because of my job, I'm always on my phone, and I'm always scrolling, checking mails, answering DMs, texting with my friends. I really have to force myself not to use my phone, and I do it at set times, especially at night. Feel so far, feel so far. Once I have devoured my dinner, it's time to clean and I try doing this whilst I still have some energy left within me because I know if I push it off until the end of the night, I will hate every second of it and I will not do a thorough job. Part of that cleaning involves the kitchen, wiping down after cooking, setting up a dishwasher, vacuuming, sometimes even mopping, and doing some laundry. I have a love-hate relationship with cleaning because where I do hate almost every second leading up to it, it's kind of meditative for me and it kind of calms me down, oddly enough. And once everything in the house is sparkly clean, it's time to also invest some care into myself. Time to remove the makeup, the dirt, the heaviness of the day, and take a shower. The shower is kind of my overthinking space a lot of the time, but I have to say, in a good way.
The last hour before bed, things get a little bit more intense again, and I get back to work or to studying depending on what could be more important that day. For today's video, I was actually editing because I really needed to get up a vlog, and I had a cup of tea and a snack on the side to make things just a little bit more joyful and cozy that way. I also put on music all the time in the background, and it goes from classical music to jazz music, just something really chill. That calms me down. You might have also noticed that I'm watching Friends in the background. I've been obsessed with that show lately and I love watching it. I'm also somebody I try to push off tasks by watching my favorite shows or scrolling through TikTok and I'm trying to tell myself sometimes that by working I would miss out on the stuff that's fun for me. So you can find me multitasking and watching my favorite shows in the background whilst working to kind of trick myself. I don't know if it's really healthy. I don't probably think so but it kind of works. After taking Bailey for a final walk, it's finally time to get back into the bathroom and finish what we started earlier, my skincare routine. I like to remove my makeup before washing my hair, but then I usually don't finish up my routine up until I brush my teeth. I don't know why. It has always been like that. I really don't know why. It's just my routine. It's how I like to do things. And at night, my skincare routine is super simple. I just use a toner, an ampule, or a serum, and a moisturizer, and a lip balm. Because skincare does not always have to be complicated. And no, you do not have to follow 10 steps. It just has to be effective and a good fit for your skin type. Then it's time to snuggle into bed, put on some eye drops and some hand cream and some nights you'll find me watching one last episode of Friends or a YouTube video while it's getting unready and then finishing it up when I'm in bed and some nights I just go straight ahead and turn off the lights. Whatever makes me feel good because this is what my nights are about, feeling good and preparing for the next day ahead. 